Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be speaking about the spooky dark web and the most and effective way to stay safe on there. So watch till the end, learn something, and remember, please like, subscribe, and share, and let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, folks, so here we go. We're on my desktop now. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we're connected to VPN. That's always the first thing I do before I access any Tor browser, anything on the spooky dark web, deep web, whatever web outside of the clear, clear web, right? So what I want to do is I'm using Norton VPN. So I'm going to look at my status and I am connected. So this is my IP address. So you can hack that all day. Go for it. That's on NordVPN's network. And the next thing we need to do, I, I went to the site just in case you guys don't have any VPN, go ahead and use the link in the description below for Norton and you guys can get a discount. So installing the Tor browser on Kali, if you guys haven't done that yet, super easy. Make sure you're up to date with all your repositories with sudo apt update. And then the way you install it is apt install dash y tor space tor browser dash launcher. Okay, so once that's installed, you should be good to go. And the way you launch it is just Tor, uh, Tor browser dash launcher. So I wanna go ahead and copy that now so you guys can see that. So we're gonna go ahead and paste that here and hit enter and let this boot up the spooky Tor browser, right? So this is the Tor browser. Let me go ahead and make this bigger. And you're gonna connect to Tor, right? To Tor browser, route your traffic over the Tor network. The Tor runs by different routers, hundreds and thousands of volunteers around the world, right? So before you hit connect, the way you wanna do it is go ahead and configure connection first. Let me make this bigger. And we're gonna come down to security, privacy and security. As we can see here, we can see a whole bunch of fun stuff. If we come down, let me come down here. And we have security. So. The security levels, normally, if you just open this right now, you're probably on standard, right? So the way I browse, the safest way, in my opinion, is using safest. Okay, so we can come down, we can come up a little bit, up down right here, we can see, we can warn about any unwanted, uncommon software. You want to make sure you have that checked, just in case there's any, you know, nefarious applications or crazy things that's going on. And then you can come down here and enable HTTPS only mode for all windows, right? So that's another thing that I have on and you can do the same, you can follow along, okay? So let me see what else we can talk about here. So before we actually log into the spooky Tor browser or the dark web, I wanna give you some insight of what you're accessing and some of the risks, right? So some of the risks you need to be careful of, of targeted spams and phishing, be careful for you know being part of any botnets, uh, illegal and disturbing content, you can see that on the dark web. And if you're not willing to do that, stay off, please. And you know, being careful, obviously be mindful of what you're doing. Hijack, you know, things you can risk is hijacked your hijacking your webcam. I've seen, you know, people go on there, they can hijack webcams, but make sure you're just doing nothing crazy and you'll be pretty safe. All right, so don't click on any silly, dangerous links, okay? And this main video is about safety, right? How do we safely access the dark web? What can we do to stay safe? Number one, we did it, right? Connecting to VPN, that's the number one. We want to try to anonymize ourselves as best as possible. Number two, you can install any like EDR, antivirus, any kind of protection on your computer. Obviously, I'm using a Kali Linux machine, so I don't really have anything like that on there. Uh, use safe and privacy applications and enhancing applications, right? We could do that. We can download, obviously, the Tor browser from the source that it's originated from. You can compare hashes, make sure it's all good to go. You wanna obviously secure your device, make sure you're behind a firewall, all that good stuff. You wanna change your Tor setting, uh, your Tor's, Tor browser settings like we just did here. I just took some notes on another screen I'm just reading off. Uh, be wary of how to share your data on the dark web. Hopefully you're not sharing anything. Anytime you're trying to make any purchases, use 
uh, untraceable currency, right? Bitcoin, cryptocurrency. Um, close out everything that you don't want seen, right? So close everything when you're done. Say, for example, when you're done, X out of everything, disconnect from your VPN, shut down your virtual machine. Like I have this in a running in a virtual machine. That's what my be best recommendation would be. Don't run this on your local host, in my opinion. And if you're, you know, if you're using a, a live OS, you can use a live OS as well, right? And then, you know, run this on a virtual machine, which I just said, All right? Cool deal. So we just talked about all that. And let's see, what else do we talk about that I have in my notes here? I think that should be it, right? So we are connected to VPN. So just a little, you know, just one last thing. We have different layers of the internet, right? We have the surface web or the clear web. Everyone goes on Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever. Then we have the deep web, right? So this deep web has any content that is not indexed by search engines, right? Like Google and Bing and so on and so forth. The, these include files, company networks, right? So these pages can only be accessed when you are logged in, right? So think about an example, your inbox, your email, your, your Slack or your Teams or your WebEx or whatever you're using for messaging in your organization, right? So this is a part of the bigger of the internet. Then there comes the deep web or the dark web or whatever you want to call it, right? the the spooky dark web <clears throat> excuse me i'm still sick such as the tor browser right the dark web features everything from privacy oriented chat rooms which i don't never go in that and there's the black markets where criminals can buy and sell guns drugs stolen credentials credit cards and all that crazy stuff right so i just want to give you some little background about those three so and the next question I would ask myself, or I get asked a lot, even from family members, is the dark web illegal, right? So the dark web is not illegal, right? Going onto the dark web is not illegal. Connecting to the dark web is not illegal. I know I sound like a broken record. So it, you, know, you can definitely access the dark web safely, and this is what we're going over today, right? So how do you get on the dark web? right? How do you get on it? So we're technically on it now. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and come back to connect to Tor and we're going to go ahead and connect. Now we're going to go ahead and connect to the spooky dark web. Now we have this search DuckDuckGo. Now we can search for, I'm just going to put dark, uh, let me click in here, sorry, dark web uh, sites, right? So probably give us let me make this larger once it loads. And just one other thing, once you're connected to your VPN and to the Tor browser, you're probably going to run a little slower than you normally do on regular indexing Google and so on and so forth, right? So be, be wary of that. All right, so let's go ahead and how to access it. We already went over how to access it. This is pretty much what we just went over, the dark web, the deep web. All right. And let's go ahead and let's just go ahead and I want to go to some unseen onions. So they're called onion links or onion sites, right? So here we have DuckDuckGo, the biggest search engine in the dark web, you know, not use trackers or collect your personal data. Then we have the hidden wiki. We can go to the hidden wiki. Let's go ahead. Let's go to DuckDuckGo. Come on. And then we're going to go ahead and do hidden wiki wiki. Okay. So let's go ahead and click that. And remember, it's going to take a little bit. So be patient. And once this is done, we can just go to let's go to the second link. And you see this is a dot onion. This is not like you normally go to Google, right? So this is it. You know, we can, let's go ahead and right click on open to see dot onion at here. I don't know if you can see it at the end and you can start browsing around. So let's see hidden search engines. These are all the search engines you can utilize the store links. 
uh, let's see, email providers, ProtonMail, like, you know, if you want to anonymize your email, I use ProtonMail, there's nothing wrong with that. So we can see social chats, we can see hosting, right? So say for example, Freedom Hosting Reloaded, let's go ahead there and let's see if this is open, yep. So say for example, we want to go by Black Cats, right? Black Cats, I don't know, I don't know. All right, so you could see that this is a search engine that's not Google, it's .onion, right? Then we have this Freedom Hosting Reload, free of charge, blah, blah, blah. I don't know how, how safe this stuff is, but you get the gist. VPNs, a whistleblowing news, non-English websites, and blah, blah, blah. You get the gist. So this is the hidden 2.wiki, right? So yeah, this is how you access it. Now, technically, we are browsing on the dark web or the deep web or whatever you, whatever you want to call it, right? It's more the dark web in here. So yeah, hopefully this is informative for you guys. If you have any questions, remember safety first, right? If you don't know it, don't click on it. That's my recommendation. Do your due diligence, do your research before you click on any of these onion routers and just be safe. So thank you so much for viewing and I appreciate it. And subscribe, like, share, do all that, hit the bells, hack the algorithm. And if you want any kind of coaching, remember you can contact me for that as well. The links are in the description below. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day and I'll speak to you guys soon.